Okay, so here we have the Nokia Lumia 1020, be available in the US here with AT&T. It's got a 41 megapixel sensor on it, image optical stabilization, Zeiss optics, six lenses, one of them glass, superior, superior camera performance, with a new Nokia Pro camera application. You've got the ability to control all kinds of elements within your photography. You can make manual changes, seeing it live within the viewfinder. Make all kinds of changes, set whatever it is that you like. Take images very easily, very simply. You can choose to manually focus in as well. Choose an area of focus. And capture that image. You'll now capture that with dual capture with a super high quality image as well as uh, an image that's uh, usable for sharing. Then once you go into that you have the opportunity to frame and reframe images. So you've got the ability to move around, resave an image and say that's what I want to be the memory from my from my last thing. How, how quick go to choose that five megapixel image? So you can go into the settings and you can choose to, to capture only with the five megapixel if you want, um, but it will automatically do dual capture, uh, and then you can share the five megapixel image, and then you have the opportunity now to go back and completely reframe the images and decide you're going to take other images and, and save those as well. So you've got the ability to do that. Uh, in addition to that, you've got a whole host of different options that you can take a look at. And what I'll do is I'll bring you in here to, to show you uh, a couple of the photos and some of the opportunities that you have to use the different applications. Uh, here's a, an example of something that we've shot with Cinemagraph. And you'll see that you have the opportunity to animate just certain parts of the frame. You can do a number of things like that. What we've talked about before as well, having the opportunity to, to zoom in and zoom out on different things. And I'll show you uh, one of the ones that we had just looked at here recently. This is an example here, taken with Nokia ProCam. You see the top of some spray cap bottles. You can read the writing on it. Everything is there as close. But I can choose to go in and reframe. I can move in even closer and get more detail. Or I can choose to zoom out back to the original level of the image. I can crop, I can move around. Again, I decide I want to make a new story out of that. It goes, save that, and if that's saved as a separate image, but I still have the data from the original to go back so and create the that. one you save will be of uh, 5 megapixels? The one I save, it can also be saved in ProCam, where it's there, so now I can go back. That original data is there. I can always go zoom back in, zoom back out, and every one of these, so you can create five, six, seven, a hundred stories from one image. Um, so a great uh, use case might be at a, at a baseball game. If you're sitting up far away and you take an image of the players on the field, you can then go zoom in on one, you can come back out, zoom in on another. You have a whole bunch of different stories from that one image you take. It gives you the opportunity to just take the camera out and take the photo and you can go later and worry about the stories that you want to create from it. Uh, 41 megapixel sensor. It will capture either 34 or 38 megapixel images based on whether you're in 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 right, aspect ratio. You have a xenon flash that's available. We use an LED flash as well for video. Video can be recorded at 1080p or 720. Uh, so you've got the opportunity there. And we've got the uh, rich Nokia recording, which can record distortion-free up to 140 decibels, uh, which is really fantastic. In addition to that, we've got the opportunity to have a bass filter that's built into it as well. So if you're in a loud club or a concert with loud bass, you can actually attenuate that to keep a really crystal clear recording. Thank you.